G'day guys and girls. Short little video on how to clean and protect the fabric roof on your car using some of our great car care products. Let's get into it. Fabric soft tops have factory added protection when new, but over time it will slowly start to dissipate. This is when you need to reapply protectant and help stop their premature aging. You want to do this job on a warmer, dry day. Begin by parking outside in the shade and thoroughly rinse the roof down with your hose. Grab a bottle of Asublime Clean and a super soft bristle brush like our plush brush. Working on a section at a time, spray the Sublime liberally into the wet roof and very gently scrub the roof in a side-to-side -side motion. Use an east-west and then north-south directions. Never use a circular motion or be overly aggressive on the material as this can fray and permanently affect the look of the roof's fibres. It's important to clean any stitching and seams of the roof as well. Get right in there with a nice soft bristle detailing brush like our big boy Brett brush here. After you're done, quickly rinse it down and then move on to the next section of the roof. The Sublime Clean is a pH neutral, bleach free and environmentally friendly exterior fabric and vinyl cleaner. It was formulated to help clean, brighten and importantly not bleach the colour of the fabric it's used on. It also has a nice level of deep cleaning power as well. If your roof is one that's been poorly looked after with lots of embedded grime or affected by mould and mildew, the Sublime Clean and Plush Brush combination will safely clean it from the fabric. If the roof is in really bad shape, you may need to clean it twice. Once you've finished the entire roof, give it a final thorough hose down so there's no signs of any suds coming from the fabric anymore. Rinse your brushes out with fresh water and then move into drying. We use a different technique for drying with our super plush Big Green Sucker drying towel. You lie the towel down on the surface and then gently pat the material so the towel sucks and draws the water from the roof. Then turn it over and place it on the next section to again repeat the patting process. If you were to wipe the towel over the roof, it would grip and grab as the two materials fight against each other, leaving lint and making the fabric look pretty tattered over time. Use the patting and turning technique till the whole roof is done, and then leave it for an hour or two to completely dry. Move the car indoors and then vacuum the roof down with its soft brush attachment, removing any final dust or residue. Then run over it with a household lint roller, which you can get from any Supernark store. This will pick up any remaining errant fibres, lint or hairs from the brushes. Now it's time to apply our Fabrotection Fabric Protectant. Put on some gloves as the product can get a bit sticky when it's on your hands and dries. It's important that it's both dry and warm for this product to work its best. Lightly mist the Fabrotection into a square bare low pile microfiber applicator pad above the roof and then mist a couple of sprays into the roof as well. Gently work it in on small sections at a time in an east-west and then north-south overlapping motion. Work over seams and stitching a little bit more to ensure it really gets in there. Also apply a little extra product to the applicator if there are any dry patches this first time, but be careful not to use too much and oversaturate the material when doing it. Once the roof is done, get a damp microfiber cloth and wipe down any glass, paint or other areas you accidentally got product residue onto. After the first coat is completed, you need to wait 20 minutes before applying a second coat, the same as the first, and then follow it up once more another 20 minutes later with the third and final coat. Our Fabrotection is a water-based protectant that uses the latest nanotechnology to coat fabrics and help them resist water and staining. Unlike many other older fabric protectant formulas, this one uses ingredients that are biodegradable and environmentally friendly. It also gives great UV protection, which makes it ideal for protecting fabric convertible tops. On the final section, turn the bottle upside down and spraying it into the applicator. This is so the trigger won't get blocked afterwards. Give the edges a final wipe down with a wet cloth and then follow it with a dry microfiber cloth. It's a good idea to have a bucket of water handy to rinse both the square bare applicator and wet microfiber cloth out before machine washing them. Don't disturb the roof for five to six hours or allow it to get wet for 48 to 72 hours so it can totally cure. Once cured, fat protection makes the surface a wee bit hydrophobic, as you can see from this water test done three days after the application. More importantly, the roof is now UV protected, a lot easier to clean and more resistant to staining from the many wonderful outdoor elements. Dependent on how you use your car, we recommend doing this treatment process every 6 to 12 months. More information on these products can be found on our website in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.